can go ahead. Okay. How many of you prefer to listen to music while studying? How many of you actually know how to read music or play an instrument? Plato once said, I would teach children music, physics, philosophy, but most importantly music, for the patterns in music and all the arts are the keys to learning. All students should have an opportunity to learn an instrument in school as a vital part of their education, for there may be many positive benefits to learning an instrument for a student. This includes cognitive benefits, personal benefits, and social benefits. Some people might have some negative views on learning an instrument or having music programs in school in general due to the expenses. But in reality, positive benefits and negative benefits might outweigh the other. Learning an instrument can give students many cognitive and academic benefits. According to Learning Potential website by the Australian government, neuroscience studies show that when you're playing an instrument and listening to music, it actually stimulates your brain. So if you look at your handout now, there are some more examples as to what, how music can actually affect your brain. When you are listening to music or playing an instrument, it gives your brain an equivalent of a full body workout, which means you're developing new brain structure and new neural connections. <laughs> um, music also affects the left side of your brain, which, is, which functions your language and your reasoning. So students who are learning an instrument actually improve in their speech development and reading skills. According to Halberg, Martin, and McClare, three professors in educational psychology at Northern Arizona University, Children who learn an instrument improve in their working memory efficiency. They state, it is speculated that these cognitive benefits are acquired from procedural performance techniques developed in practicing an instrument. In other words, you memorize a lot of things when you're learning an instrument, and you have to learn to memorize things quickly. For example, when you're playing the violin, you have to remember where you put your finger on the fingerboard to make a certain note. Or, when you're reading music, you have to remember what a certain note on a page means and what that note means. All of these academical benefits in learning an instrument act already reveals so much of why schools should make it an option for their students. But there are still some more other related benefits for a student who decides to learn an instrument. This includes personal benefits. Some examples of personal benefits are you increase in creative thinking and you get a sense of intellectual curiosity. According to the National Association for Musical Education, this kind of education can help them solve problems by thinking outside the box and realizing that there may be more than one right answer. So when you're playing music, whether you're lis or listening to the lyrics or writing your own song, it gives you an opportunity to be creative. Not only does it help you be creative, but it helps you be curious. Kent State University professors give some examples as to why that's so. One. You might be curious as to how the music was created and what instrument made that sound. So you might want to learn that instrument to make that sound too. Two, you might be interested in how a chord makes you feel a certain emotion, how it makes you feel sad or happy or any other emotion. Learning an instrument can also help you appreciate self-discipline and commitment. You cannot improve on your instrument unless you self-discipline yourself and create a routine to practice your instrument. Learning an instrument is also very challenging and can give you pride, a sense of pride and achievement. Learning an instrument is great for any child or student wanting to work on their own goals and personal growing responsibility, but it also can teach them how to work with others. This includes social benefits. An example of a social benefit is when you're learning an instrument, most beginners start with classical music. Classical music comes from different countries, and you get a sense of different cultures, and you can get a sense of cultural empathy, and you might want to learn more about those cultures. Another example of a social benefit is when you are learning an instrument, you might have to learn with other people and play in an orchestra or band or maybe another small group, and you have to learn to work together to make that music. So not only do you learn teamwork, you can also learn a sense of empathy. When it, researchers show in the Learning Potential website, that when you're playing music with other students, you learn to tune in on those people's emotions. Despite all, the, all of these reasons for kids to start picking out their instruments, some people have some second thoughts due to prioritizing their money and programs in schools. According to the Music and Arts, the largest retail chain of band and orchestral instruments, music education, whether it's learning an instrument or music theory, people who are against the idea of music education argue that it can be pretty expensive to be funded in schools. Public school fundings can sometimes, some public schools still sometimes struggle with funding for basic needs, such as textbooks and papers. 
but so they start cutting unnecessary programs and music programs are sadly at the top of those lists. But you can start seeking out grants and fundings from different foundations. Some examples of foundations that give out money for this sort of thing is the D. Adario Foundation and the NAMM Foundation, who give out $600,000 annually to music programs who need the money. Other ideas of helping with this issue is going to your community and finding materials and instruments and maybe in getting some fundraising ideas. An example of an orchestra who didn't have any funding is called the Recycled Orchestra in Paraguay. They didn't have any funding or money to create their orchestra, so they made their instruments out of trash. And they have been an orchestra for 10 years. As you can see, learning an instrument can be very vital in a student's education and should at least have the opportunity to try it in school. All the benefits that come along with the learning of an instrument greatly outnumber any negative benefits in music education and the importance of it. Benefits involving a student academically, personally, and socially. So what are you waiting for? Pick up an instrument if you don't already play one and give it a shot. You might just enjoy it. Thank you very much. Okay, all right, thank you so much, Faith. At this time, we're going to go ahead and open it up to uh, any questions that you might have here. Yeah. Oh, um, so you explained, like, some solutions for a school don't provide it, but do you have any, like, solutions for if some families can afford it, but, like, a child may want to have the opportunity to learn music or get lessons, but if they don't have the materials for it or the money for it, do you have any suggestions then for them themselves and if the school doesn't provide an option? Well, the foundations, actually, there are many more foundations than the one I just gave that don't actually just help with school programs, but they also help with certain families. And they actually, like, they are very strongly, like, I don't know the word for it, but they're very for music. And they're like, you have to play music, don't give up. So they actually give you other opportunities to do that. I didn't look that far into it, but I saw some stuff on there. If you look up the, on, like, websites and stuff, they have different foundations for that. Yes, Anna. What if you don't have any way to contact them or something like that? Like, what if you want to commit to something or try an instrument? Who could you turn to if you don't have the resources yourself? Um, like a student or just anyone? Just kind of anyone, but also like maybe like a college student who's like. I mean, like that. I think they can go to like any teacher or like just because there are many connections between for the people you know who can probably contact them for you. Um, damn, yeah. I found <laughs> it's just like on the internet, I mean, and you can like, you like apply for it, you apply for the, f for the funds and the grants and then you might get it. It's, yeah, it's pretty complicated. Ivan. Uh, you said uh, listening to music could be the same as a workout? Uh, it's like the equivalent for your brain. Yeah, for your brain? Yeah. Does this include all kinds of music? Like, is it the same yeah, as any music. Mm -hmm. There's like a very big difference in the music stuff. It, it, it pleases the brain in the same way. Mm -hmm. when, you're, when you're listening to music, it's like fireworks in your brain, but when you're playing like an instrument, that's what I mean by it's a full mm -hmm. body workout, because yeah. it's more like connected and you're mm -hmm. doing many things at once. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. Yes, Sam? Do you have your hand up? Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Anyone else? Kayla? So, if someone can't physically play an instrument, what would you say is the next step for them? Or like the best thing? Like, like if they're like missing an arm? <laughs> like, I mean, there are many instruments. Like, I don't really know if that's really... Like handicapped people that yeah. are like physically, you know, like have disabilities or such where they cannot... So if not if not instrument playing, what other musical option mm -hmm. could they have? I mean, there's like for not just playing an instrument, but for like music education. music theory, music education. I mean, for I mean, my point is to have music in schools so they could like learn music theory. And there's also singing. <laughs> singing pretty great. Um, <laughs> I don't know how handicapped they would be. Depend. There are many different. <laughs> there are many different like things, I guess, that they could do and for depending on how they are. Anything else? Bert. Um, if a person is studying and is listening to music, also, uh, would you prefer him 
not to do that because according to what you said, you you're using this part of brain of uh, during listening to music and maybe some other part of your brain when studying and it can be like kind of distraction between these two. Um I think when you're listening to music you are like training your brain and it's actually proven by um, researchers that when you're listening to classical music it actually helps you study better. I'm not that like educated on all of that stuff but um, I think it really depends on what music you're listening to. If it's like rap or a song you really like <laughs> then you might be distracted depending on the song, but most people I know who listen to music while studying listen to classical when they're really actually trying to study. Okay. Yes, oh, I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to call it quits for tonight. All right, thank you.